Christopher Columbus, sponsored by IBM, will continue after this. You're about to spend a day on the campus of UCLA. There's something exciting going on here. Something that's happening on campuses all across the country. Something that's affecting America's future. There's been a revolution. A revolution in which the computer has been the leading edge. And this has been pushing the revolution in teaching. There isn't a single area on this campus which has not profited from the use of computers. A lot of students come to UCLA who are very bright, but for one reason or another, their writing skills are below average. Some students have trouble organizing. Some students just have trouble writing. We developed a writing package, a computer program, that would address their needs. Nothing's worse for a teacher than having to teach a class that does not want to be there. And the computer has changed that. These students are enthusiastic about being in the class. They're enthusiastic about writing. This is the way that architects have worked for centuries, by drawing buildings very carefully, by hand. Now, computer graphics changes all of that completely because it takes a great deal of the labor out of the process. It's hard to believe, but we've got over 16 million colors available here. The computer lets me look at quite a number of variations in the time it would take me to do a single variation by hand. Like any professor, I'm interested in the, the, the spirit and the sense of excitement that students have in their work. Computer graphics brings that because it's a new medium and because it opens up completely new vistas that the students haven't experienced before. We are excavating an um, ancient city in Syria and one of the most interesting ways in which we are uh, using the computer is for a visual reconstruction of the buildings. This house belonged to a man named Puzerum and he lived 5,000 years ago. When the computer brings his house up on the screen, you feel like you're there. You feel like you're out in the street and you're any minute going to see Puzerum step out and say hello to you. In a very real sense, the computer is helping us to bring the past back to life. As I look at my engineering students today, I'm reminded how we used to use computers. Computers that would fill this, this whole room, or maybe two of them like that. A and this whole machinery now fits into one fingernail. There is a feeling among some people that computers push people apart, but that isn't true. On the contrary, I look at our own students and I see what camaraderie, what friendship, what new way of working the computer has brought for them. When I was a young student, we used to think how we would change the world. And as I see my new students, of course, they also want to do that. But now, with the aid of computers, maybe they can. UCLA is one of hundreds of universities receiving IBM grants for computers, the development of new courses, and research. It's an example of how business and education can work together to create new ways of teaching and learning in a new spirit of discovery. This is an average hand, but not everybody's average. So at IBM, we make sure our products fit you, whatever size you are. IBM machines swivel and move, adjust and tilt, because you do. So an IBM product not only makes you more productive, it makes you more comfortable. You'll recognize that the moment you get your hands on one. And now we return to Christopher Columbus, starring Gabriel Byrne and Faye Dunaway. <laughs> 